continue to educate people so that Muslims around the world know that. Brother, this I have mentioned in several of my speeches. Now when you ask the question, I give the reply. There are tens of millions of people watching this program on Peach TV. They are being educated that death penalty is not the standard rule. But why will they believe in me? Because I've given the reference. I gave the reference of the sayings of the Prophet from Abu Dawood. I'm giving the reference for more authenticity. Abu Dawood, volume number three, hadith number four, three, four, five. Now, when I'm giving reference, Abu Dawood, volume number three, hadith number four, three, four, five, anyone can go and check up. In this hadith, the sayings of the Prophet, the Prophet pardoned the person who was a Muslim and changed to another faith. Now, the difference between my answer and the other answers are the other people just say without giving reference. Now, when I give a reference, sayings of the Prophet, Abu Dawood, Poem number three, hadith number four, three, four, five. You can go and check up. So this gives more authenticity and I'm sure now there are millions of Muslims who will agree that death penalty is not the standard rule for any Muslim who changes his faith to any other religion. Hope that answers the question. Before this evening, due to the limitation of the satellite link, However, I would ask you now to join with me in thanking Dr. Knight for his speech and pass it back to Peace TV to finish the evening. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I remain James Langman and your president. Thank you. I would like to thank the Oxford Union, especially the president of the Oxford Union, Mr. James Langman, for making this event possible. And I really appreciate with the way they invited me for this talk. And at least now, the people of UK can really see a live telecast that I'm a person who gives the message of peace. In a live telecast, there is no editing. There is no manipulation. You can have more faith in these live telecasts rather than clippings from YouTube, which can be manipulated. I would like to thank the members of the Oxford Union once again, and I hope very shortly, once the explosion order is reversed, I would like to personally come to the Oxford Union and meet the members of the Oxford Union. Thank you very much. For the viewers of Peace TV, may I just give a background briefing for those who have joined in later on. We just heard before us a very enlightening talk by Dr. Zakir Naik addressing the Oxford Union UK on the topic Islam and the 21st century. This was an opportunity to present not only to UK and the people of the United Kingdom, but at the global level, because Oxford Union is not merely famous for presenting the views or concerns at the Oxford University itself, but on a wider level throughout the world of issues which are of global concern. Today we have Islam being analyzed, being criticized, being appreciated. It is in the forefront of being understood, sometimes for the right reasons, sometimes for the right, wrong reasons. Today, the Oxford Union has provided us this opportunity to put before the world the views of what Islam stands for through the person of Dr. Zakir Naik, one of the leading orators on Islam and comparative religion in the world, and 
it's a pleasure that we could hear the different questions and viewpoints and inshallah we hope to have such programs in other places on the world where opportunities could be availed of and spread the message of peace further and further to every corner of the world inshallah we thank all of you all for being with us and sharing these historic moments of this unique debate at the Oxford Union. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.